United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. We, any additions to the agenda? I have, well, all right, let's not do that item since you said we have no estimates on that. Any other additions to the agenda? Uh, no. Apparently it's like towards the bottom. Um, uh, you can only D, because Jazz isn't here to have any quotes or anything for us. D, you said? D, okay. yes. Um, what was that? I can't hear, we can't hear back. We're removing D, because the guy that's agenda. supposed to be bringing quotes for that stuff isn't here. Um, I have got prices for the water fountains. Okay. Um, pass that on for you guys to see when we get there. The rest looks fine. Okay. All right. I need a motion to approve the agenda. Motion to approve the agenda. Second. I or Aaron. Good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Aaron who's taking the minutes? Andrew's not here. Aaron, can you uh, take Got a pen? I, uh, I don't bring pens hand. anymore. You got a pen? I'll do it. I guess I can always just do it on my phone in a sense. That's too good. Or I'll go to the one on the car. Yeah, you for go. me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, all in favor? Approving the agenda? Aye. Aye. Right, motion approved. Approval of the minutes of the July 24th, 2023 Park Commission meeting. Motion to approve the minutes. All second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Signing of per diem slips. Already done. Secretary's report. Secretary is not here. Treasurer's report. Um, nothing out of the ordinary, mostly normal bills. We've got a couple of uh, rush hauling over to Mulch King from Car Park and one from Harmony Park. Uh, and then we have our a Bedford Press bill for $325, which was the ad for the fireworks. Other than that, it's all normal utility bills, cleaning bills, and a total of $3,966.94. I'll make a motion to approve the treasurer's report. A second. All right. Aye. Carol votes aye. Aaron's aye. 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 Motion passed. Community education. I have her note right here. So this is Bedford Community Education from Nancy Crandall. Good evening. I'd like to submit the following report on behalf of the Bedford Community Education Program. The summer programs finished strong with over 250 kids in T-Ball, Safety Town, and another 200 plus in Summer Latchkey and Summer Parks. The 2023 fall brochure is done and live at bedfordce.leo.com. We are offering over 40 educational and recreational programs and leagues. It includes the typical fall lineup of soccer, cross country, and basketball. New this year are several sports clinics to hone skills in basketball, lacrosse, volleyball, horseback riding, art classes, and karate are just a few of the enrichment classes being offered for children. And for adults, we have volleyball, basketball, pickleball, and kayaking, along with enrichment classes that include computer, art, yoga, cardio, and tone, and line dancing. We are also added back a travel component this fall, heading up to Frankenmuth for a day of fun. Look for more trips being planned for future travel fun. We are looking forward to a busy fall with something for everyone. If you have any thoughts on future classes or programs, we can get together to discuss possibilities. Thank you for your continued support and assistance with community education. Nancy Crandall. All right. Presentations, we have none. Public comment, two minutes. Gail K. 1056 West Temperance. Um, I'm looking first off to get a full disclosure uh, considering that we had a missed meeting, the last meeting, uh, on the issues that were commented upon regarding Centennial Park. Uh, I was not able to find full information on that and if there's been incidents relative to possible 
issues within the park. It, we, you guys need to protect yourself by documenting it. So and with Aaron not here tonight for the minutes, uh, which were not approved for the last meeting, uh, I'm looking because I had asked the township for information on that and they didn't have anything to give. So if <coughs> this stuff needs to be documented for your own legal cover your butt situations here, you need to be making sure this stuff is written up and that notice is given to the township that there's been a, a concern. So I'm hoping that we can get that reestablished when we talk to the pocket parks down here. So I think that's that's it for me. Anyone else? I think we all think about like the ramps and everything. You gotta stand up for the ones. You gotta give me your name. Your name and where you're from. From around here. No, you gotta give me your address. It's all. It doesn't go public record. It's all things. It's just formality. So I say where I live and everything. Just give me your address. So I live at um. <laughs> What's your house address? What street do you live on? I'm just going to go with my dad's. It's 7001 one Stockport Drive. There you go. And I think we all think that the ramps should be a little updated. Same with like the railings and stuff because some of the railings have been falling apart. And I feel like the ramps just need a little bit of some repair, maybe new paint. <coughs> I feel like that was just a little one to say. Maybe like some repairs or What was your name again? Here we go. We're going to My name is Johan Lobscher. Johan, what's the last name? Lobscher. L O U B S E R. Good. Anybody else? Aiden Zolinski. I live at 2638 West Newton Road. And I'm also talking about the park repair. I was, if you guys are willing to let us repair the park, we are willing to fund for the ramps and everything to be repaired. If you trust us, we will get a contractor to sign papers and give them to you guys if that's what you need. But we are willing to fund and repair the ramps at Parmalee Park if you guys are willing to do the ramps. All right. Anybody else? All right. Thank you, guys. We'll be discussing that a little later. Okay, that's public comment. Approval of the baseball contracts. We have the baseball contract. The only one I have is the one for 3B at the moment. Well, but they're already, right? They're, all, they're, they're already. already, they're already, already I motion to approve the contracts as finalized by right. Lawyer Goldsmith. I'll second. All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. Update on roof leak at Cars Grove Park. It is, it is going out for bed. Going out for bed. Okay. Yes. That's all we need to know. <laughs> Excess water usage at Cars Grove and White Parks. I know it we has the, the leaks have been fixed. I had the uh, water company come over and open the meter pit up over at White Park to ensure that it is not running. Um, I believe 3B replaced all the toilets and the concessions, and I think that may be what fixed it. Okay. We're not positive as of right now. The water usage is going back to normal okay. for both car and white park. All right. All right, we're going to skip D until our next meeting. Final approval of water fountain selection. So we've got three to choose from, only two of which we print. This is the Murdoch one that we considered. This is the LK one that we considered before. And the third one was... Okay, the third one is very similar to LK. Didn't we just, or was it LK was the winner? We talked about, Murdoch. okay. Murdoch, I believe. After my extensive looking, the prices are going to change because the LK, both of those, you, you can order them online, but if you go through the manufacturer, they're willing to give you a little bit of a discount. 
Okay. So it'll change, but it'll go down. So it's going to go down. So for the, all of them. For all of them. The LK1, the rep is in Oak Park, Michigan. The Murdoch one, the rep is in Toledo. Okay. So for that reason alone, closer. I think, yeah, we should go with the, the Murdoch one. Uh, the thing that stopped me when I looked at the, the specs there, it says the battery pack. That's only if you get the automatic waterer for the for their drinking bottles. If you get the one, the push button one, then there's no batteries involved. Because I said there's nobody going to change the batteries no. on a regular basis. So we're just no. going to get the, the regular. I think the push button. Push button. This has the bottle thing? Yeah, yep, it's right there. Right there. I like it because the LK1, you know, somebody could take a baseball bat to it and it looks like it would yeah, just this is fold right over and right. that would be yeah, the end of the bottle true. filler. filler. Sure. Well, I motion to approve the Murdoch drinking fountains and five of them, right? I mean five. Is it five or four? I well One, it's four for sure. Two, three, he, four. Chaz wanted wanted two at white, but I don't know where we put the other one. There's no other fountain there. There's only the one at the Yeah, at I don't the know. Playground. I mean we could put one out by the out, out by the baseball diamonds, but then we we don't have water. We're separate we're planning on separating the water consumption. Right. And we won't have our own water line out there. Right. So I mean, once so again, we hooked be into three Bs. Thing if they want it. So I approve. I I, I motion to approve for that's the price of one. That's the price of one. Yep. That's the price of <laughs> one. <laughs> that's not even. Hey, hold on. That's what they. That's what they that's are. That's with all the frost There's guards and everything for. you need. You know the, the whole package. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it's coming down. Like I said, they'll give us a. Deal. But that's still like. Is this a legal thing? Like you've got to have <laughs> water at your park if there's a playground. You're, you need I mean, no. No, it's not legal. But, but at this point in time, like I know I'm not to spend money to spend money, but this is ARPA is going to fund this and pay for this. And Are they okay? Like of all the projects, of, of all the projects we sent them, this is the only one that they approved. Yes. So, so why don't they just do it? Why didn't they need so us to? They want because us they want to us to pick, pick them the, the to make it feel like we're making a decision. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's a, I mean. So I'll motion, I want to make a motion to approve the purchase of four of the outdoor pedestal bottle filler with barrier free drinking fountain by Murdoch, um, with each of them costing $8,248.64, potentially less, but no more. My affirmative vote would just be on, like, that versus its competitors, not water fountains versus not water fountains, I guess, because they've yeah. already determined. Right, they've already yeah. determined sure, they sure. sound great. I sec, no problem. I mean, like, yeah. okay. <laughs> that seems like a poor use of taxpayer funds, but then they again, like, they're not really taxpayer funds. The no. government, they just make money and shower it on people and give it through ARPA. So, I don't know. I mean, okay, they seem like a great company. So you said a great product. Sure. Yeah. Second. Aaron seconds. Aaron right. seconds. Yeah. Okay. Carol. Carol votes aye. Aye. And now you guys are still gonna have to present this at one of the township <laughs> meetings. So three bids and hey, this is the one we want. Oh, no, Carol's got it. Aren't they the one? Wait. Carol's got it. We've approved. We've told them right. what we want. And who? Well, who picked? Somebody the, from okay. the somebody from the ARPA committee. We're we're done with this. This is it. We got to give it to the ARPA committee. They they right. take it to the township. Amazing. That's my understanding. Okay. okay. Parmalee Park. We have approval of yard man. Oh, wait a minute, I missed that. Yep. Approval of yard man. So I have I got a quote for eight hundred dollars to remove that tree at Centennial. Right. Not remove it, at but to bring Wheeler. it to the ground. Right, right, right. We I mean this is the one at Wheeler. Yep. I think that's a no brainer, I guess. It's, and just it's drop it. Great deal. And then, you know, Maintenance can come and cut it up. They got the shredder. It doesn't need cutting. They can just lay there to preserve. Just drop, leave it drop there. there. Right. As long as there's a fall on the trail. If it falls on the trail, then yeah, maintenance will have to come cut it out of the trail. But well, they there, need to preserve. bring it down. Mushrooms, funguses, they'll come through, eat it. It'll disappear in a few years. Okay. That's I'll make a motion that we approve $800 for taking down the dead tree at Wheeland Preserve. That's back against somebody's yard. I'll second. I'll say yes. Aye. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, motion carried. Okay, we're talking about skate park repair. Um, well, well, we got people at our public commentary. Huh? Good thing you guys are here. here. Yeah, I mean, this. Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking it's it's a liability issue. Is what's going to happen with that? Um, if they have a contractor like this on, 
That's licensed. Okay. That can fill out the normal necessary paperwork and no problem with it. All right, so, so I guess you guys need to get a licensed contractor, get us the information, you know, so we know who it is and how much it's going to cost. What kind of everything. what kind of stuff are you guys thinking? Well, what well, give me highlights? Repairs, right? You're like, not the coping, you. the coping needs to be fixed. Some of like the diaper tissue is sticking up. Some of the metal like pieces are bent up, and I'm just afraid like someone is gonna pop a tire or like all the cracks and stuff. Like the boards aren't sitting flat. Do I have permission to speak? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. What's your name? Did you get dropped before? Oh, my name's Landon. Landon. Mine is Landon. Uh, Landon on Landon Hamilton. Uh, my friend Brecken had crashed because there was a nail sticking out of one of the ramps and his tires popped. So I would just like to say that we might need to fix those nails because I someone's coming here and unscrewing them. And my friend hit one of those with his tire and it popped and he busted his nose. Think somebody's unscrewing them? Yeah, we've seen multiple like older kids come here and just unscrew nails. Wow. No, I've literally seen people cake and cake. Never seen. Them. So repairing what's there, not putting in concrete or whatever. Repairing what's there. All right, I'll look at getting some providers as well. We got one more. So my name is George Yaki. I'm speaking on behalf of Park over there. I think we should definitely get some new repairs over there. It's definitely a liability risk to some of the crashes. So like speaking the other day when I was here, I like I ate it because there was like a little piece of like. Wood. I was just like a piece of the wood sticking up. I, I saw like a piece of like the platform sticking up, which caused me to fall and my inner teeth popped. So, because there was like a nail like, like right there too. And like it popped the thing. In the meantime, I would suggest that you guys walk the course before you ride it, so you know these things are there. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I also think we should get some like water fountains, like those water fountains fixed, because like, I like bring like two water bottles daily and I run out of them like an hour, so I go cut back on trash okay. and start refilling. So the, the flip side of it all is the behavioral law enforcement issues and general dirtiness and trash and behavior. And that's why it's like, well would we put money into something that could become such of a such a issue in terms of behavior and crime and whatever that you fix it. <laughs> well I mean, uh, uh, the community all together, you guys, myself, the police, other people who come here, I mean, there's not one thing that's going to fix it, but that's been the ongoing issue is like some people want the thing just ripped out and taken out all together because they think it's a magnet for bad behavior. So like, why would we put some money into something that's a bad magnet for bad behavior when all we want to determine is, you know, is this the right thing to have here? But I don't want to take it out. I don't think anybody wants to take it out. That's a pretty drastic step. So while it's here, you know, I mean, we've gotten through this summer. You guys are all going back to school, and yeah. theoretically, once the summer's over, the behavior concerns kind of go down a little more. Not that you guys are the problem who are at this meeting, but I know there's a lot of people who use the park, and behavior and litter and stuff has been a pretty big problem. So, I mean, I'll look into some providers. Right? I mean, we'll get quotes. I'll talk to the users of the park about, you know, ramps and, you know, materials and things. But, um, I don't know, I mean, get it done by, you know, over the winter and the spring for next summer. That'd be great. Kind of thing, right? I mean, yeah. Would it be possible if we could get another garbage can just inside the park? Amen. Trust me. I've moved that garbage can all around to yeah, hope just, that it's going to be used in a break. Like right I have a couple times. It, make, it magically makes its way. Up. Up. Maintenance moves it back. Is it maintenance that moves it back? I've definitely moved that can next to the bench. <laughs> you have to. You have to have me. You have to ask me to move it so that way it stays. Okay, that's fine. I mean, that's, but yeah, yeah. I mean, the can and the bottles and the garbage. I mean, just the garbage is such a big thing because people who drive through that don't use it but get a first impression when they see it. They're like, oh, look at that skate park. It looks so terrible. And they don't even know. They don't get out of their car. But when it looks bad, it has a bad first impression. So, but what's that? We're going to look for, we're going to have to look for quotes. If you guys got people, you know, 
I come here a lot. You guys know who I am, so I will take any quotes and any you know providers we've got. I think we're looking probably like less than ten thousand dollars, right? When the park board did it last time, how much did they spend? You know, oh god, they spent less than fifteen hundred, but they did a horrible. That they spent less than fifteen hundred. I don't say they, they, it, Yes, it, but it was it was mostly volunteer work, and it was it created, like, it created a lot of unsafe spots throughout the park. I feel like five to ten thousand dollars properly bid out. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? If yeah. it's gonna get replaced, like the wood is rotted through. Yeah, that's another topic of topic of discussion. With you guys. <laughs> the wood is very messed up, and I'm just worried that one time I go down like a ramp or something, it's just gonna collapse in the leaf. Yeah, yeah. I can hear a really bad suing answer. So, no, actually, fifty thousand dollars would be out of the question. No, no, no. Twenty, I'm, like five figures, is sort of maybe like yeah. seven. Well, I'm, that's not like something that's gonna be a five to ten thousand dollar price range with that have meaningful enough improvements. And I don't think you guys know or I know, but like we getting like, a couple we, companies out here to We'd tell have to us. get somebody out here to mm -hmm. inspect right. it, look like, at it, see what needs done. Yep. First off, structurally, right. yep. safety and structurally needs checked. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we'll go cosmetic. Right. Um, uh, we'll work on it. Number one I mean, priority is to make sure it's safe, make yep. sure it's structurally sound. Yeah. So. Um, the skirting is getting pulled off in the back again, and maintenance has already? refused to put it. No, put they, they can't even put it back. Yeah, but they, they said that's the last time, is what they said. They, they want to tear it all off, and I said, well, what good does that do? Because you still can't see if you're here. No, I mean, you like. You can see what's happening on the other side. What would it be, a carpenter? I mean, what kind of contractor are we, mm -hmm. what do you think? Yeah. A carpenter of some sort, yeah. Yep. So, we'll get some carpentry quotes, and see, like, what can you. Yeah. 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 All that stuff. What's that? You, know, like, find, like, you guys can find carpenter quotes. Like we've got, we're legally required to get three quotes, and then they've got to go out to a process that takes a while and everything. But it will ultimately be a, a carpenter, and we'll probably, you know, want to spend somewhere between five and ten thousand dollars in repairs. And I mean, in terms of the behavior issues and crime and reports of paraphernalia and other things like we had this summer. I mean, I think by next summer we'll continue to review and, you know. Uh, Let's wait. Matt. Yeah, we're going to have a public comment. We'll, we'll pipe you guys right in a little bit. Yeah, we'll have public comment. Just so, yeah, I mean, but I'll, I'll work on getting the bids and probably like sometime between now and the next couple of meetings, we'll make sure we get some bids going and get the work done over the winter and spring. And by, you know, heavy use time next summer, even by spring, hopefully have it done. Sounds good. And if we sink five or ten grand in and we still rip it out, it's not the end of the world. Right. You know, because behavior issues trump everything, frankly. All right, so now the tree issue. The two trees, what are we going to do? Drop them? Oh, we're looking to have them dropped and maintenance and clean them up. I mean, that's... Okay. You just ask the same company to give us a quote? We can talk to them. I mean, I don't know. It's... Maybe a volunteer, possibly for those ones. There's no house close by. Uh, I might know somebody that'd be willing to cut them down. Okay. All right. Um, or we could even talk with that. We could even talk with that same company and maybe yeah. I can talk them into it. All right. Um, See what you can do. Bring back the information next If not, yeah. That. If I can't get somebody to do it for, uh, you know, as a donation, we'll see if I can get a couple of quotes together. Okay. Under fifteen hundred, and we don't need the three quotes, right? right? So yeah. theoretically, right. that company. If we haven't figured it out by next meeting, that company, I'm sure, will do it for less than 1500 if they're doing the one for 800 Yeah, and that's a lot easier to get to because they can get right to it. The other one's out in the woods. So right, and right. they'll do this for 300 bucks. I Maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't. <laughs> they'll do it for cheaper, I, would, I, would I wouldn't. Think. I wouldn't set expectations. You know, I hear you. But okay. So, All right. So good. I mean, All right. See, what, report Chris, back next meeting, please. Okay. Repair or demolition of a concrete block storage building. So... According to maintenance, it's in dire repair of needing a roof, and we need to decide what we're going to do with it. Are we going to keep it? Are we going to fix it? Are we going to tear it down? Maintenance is willing to tear it down for us, for a fee, of course. But uh, maintenance? That's yeah. For the fee? I mean, they will do it. Well, for a fee? You know, they'll bill us for the amount of hours, basically. Is what for amount of hours. But they they'll bill. Hours. For hours. The See, that's what I understand. Why do I understand why we have maintenance? Um, <laughs> labor coming out of our budget when they have no tracking of time as to where they are so we have a random number in our well, budget well apparently that they're, they're doing some tracking i don't know how it's happening but they're doing tracking this okay. year this is the first year they've done it so that's the first time hearing that they're actually doing the tracking we'll, we'll see how it, goes. it doesn't really seem like it would have any bearing 
though on our overall picture. Yeah. If we want it done, we want it done. And Paul, who manages the maintenance department, manages well, again, them accordingly. It's, it's, the, it's so. the issue of people breaking in. And, right, yeah. You know, that sort of thing. And maintenance is getting tired of boarding it up again. And, yeah, mm -hmm. Well, they haven't really had to do anything with that in a while, for probably two years, three years. Um, I know the baseball team that's moving over here from Samaria Park, because Samaria Park is too small for them now as they're getting older. And they've done a lot of great things at Samaria Park over the years in terms of sticking their own money into it, their own labor constantly, and keeping the park looking nice. They're moving over to this park, and I know they've mentioned possibly fixing that up to use it. Um, we haven't been able to talk about it a lot. I, know we talk, I talked with uh, Pete that runs the organization a few times about it, um, and I'd like to discuss with him more about it before we decide to just tear it down. Okay. Uh, because <coughs> they have a long proven track record of doing what they said they were going to do. We can uh, put it off till the next meeting. I also have thought, like, you know, there's enough people here between the Civic Center and this park, even, I mean, it's late August, <laughs> like renting it out to like an Arctic Cafe or a convenience store or somebody who could make a snack shop out of it as a like satellite to an already local business. I mean, could that generate, you know, revenue that makes everyone happy, you know, they can make money. Maybe it'd be difficult because it's not like it's right at the parking lot. Um, you mean for them have to, to like access? For anybody to access, even for customers to access. I mean, they have to walk all the way around. I, don't know. I think if that thing I don't was, think the park itself generates enough foot traffic for anything like that. Um, to be on any type of. I know I did. I, I've been here a couple but, times though this summer where I was like, wow. No, it gets it'll, 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 it'll totally it'll full, and it'll then there's the Civic Center doing it'll stuff. Down. It's like. Could there be three or four months a year that it would be an incentive for someone to rent that thing for a couple grand a month and make money? You'd have to reach out to people now. I know, I know. That's, I mean, now that's on yeah. the agenda, it's like I guess yeah. I kind of want to do that before we rip it out, right? It's like what yeah. if what if Arctic Cafe was like, yeah, that'd be awesome. We, you know, make a satellite center for you know or some other place around here. Um, I'll ask. I guess next meeting, keep okay. it on the agenda, and he and, he and I will report back. Parks update. Anstead uh, had some remediation done there. There's a couple of pictures, which I should have shared with you and didn't. But anyway, there's before and after pictures I can show you if you want to see. But they took down Black Locust, uh, Tree of Heaven, and something else. There was like three different things that they concentrated on. Have we ever moved outside of the trail with it, or are we still just inside the trail? They're, they were pretty much inside the, the, yeah, the preserves and meadow part. Can you ask them about maybe moving outside of the trail to help? Because I'm really on a lot of land around it as well. And all the seeds from those yep. invasive trees on the outer parts of the trail are just yep. going to blow and be carried in right in there. And we're just going to continuously pay to spray and never really get anywhere. We're going to have to take the trees down, is what it's going to oh, be. Oh, 100%. Yeah, oh, I agree. So, and I, I don't think they do that other than their forestry line. No. Which they did, what, two years ago? No, but if we can have trees brought down, maintenance has that really nice chipper. You know, yeah, maybe in the past um, the chipper wouldn't have been the best asset in the world for the parks. But looking into the future, it's something we could use our, our in preser our preserve and our nature park a lot more yeah. if we were to plan and start doing things maybe a little bit different to combat the invasive species and whatnot. Right. So. so consider tree removal or tree cutting down, not removal. Okay. There was a tree down on the uh, trail there, and I contacted, tried to contact Al. He wasn't in the office. I left him a message, and then I called <clears throat> Pat, and he said they were already on it. They already knew about it, and they were already mm -hmm. taking care of it. So. Yep, I, I spoke with today. Pat. Okay. I spoke with Pat last week after the other day after the storms. They were cleaning up the tree over a car park, and they were already sending guys out to check the other parks for us. Great. All right. Cars Grove? Cars Grove. Uh, while I was there talking with me the other day, they were cleaning a tree up. While I was there, a surveyor from Anakin Smith showed up and started um, the surveying process for the pickleball courts. Great. So they're already on top of that. Um, the baseball diamond has been, the outfield has been regraded, topsoiled, and seeded um, by Brighton Lawn Landscape. I, I spoke with Steve. I am now just waiting on a bill for it. Okay. Sounds good. 
All right, Parmalee. We've talked a lot about Parmalee here today. Yeah, here we are. Anything so, else? So. No, I we covered it all. Yeah. I guess work orders, we, we need to start putting in work orders again. That so, that's, it, so that process isn't dead? I mean, it was no, sort of... No, I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily... You don't have to necessarily fill out a full work order form and send it in. Send an email. Send an email, text, you know, I guess obviously make sure it's, you know... I think I've lost ...subjected all as, you know, Al's. Parmley Park maintenance list or something in that order and then just give me Al's list. number again before the end of the or so, at the end of the meeting because I've lost it and it'd be best to do through his email just to make sure it's there and sure okay. everything's going so so we can all send to his email so we're all sending to the same place so he's not trying to get our, our list from all different places it'd be a lot easier on him a lot easier it's on us and more efficient all together yeah. sure. um, anything else about family you could think of I think it looks okay. There's a lot of people here. I spoke to him about the uh, pile. Where is it? See, it's over there. there. A, you get on our side of the tree. Yeah, pile, I know. It's on the other side of the tree. There's a, a, apparently a hornet's nest near there. Some lady got stung over the weekend. So I mentioned to Pat, he's coming out first thing tomorrow morning. He's going to spray it. And then he said they're going to bring the chip over and, and take care of it. Yeah, chip the stuff up. Yeah, chip the stuff up. So that should Great. take care of that. Samaria? I'm uh, still just waiting to be on the schedule to have that forestry mulching done. I've contacted and spoke with um, Tommy Anderson, the uh, general owns the company, and he's just figuring his schedule out still. So, okay. but we're on the list. Good. Okay. Wait, I don't know anything else about. We'll wait for um, the next meeting maybe for that? Yeah, nothing yeah. for Wait, like, just the, that water usage. Other yeah. than that, that's been fixed. Okay, Wheeler, we had some work done at Wheeler. Um, yeah, it, it needs tree removal, we've got to work on that. More so than Anstead, I think. There's only one big tree I know of at Anstead that needs to come down, a tree heaven in the back. We're doing pretty good. Pocket parks, anything about the pocket parks? Um, so the tree that, was, that fell over Centennial Park has been Conclusion has been drawn to that it is the neighbor's tree and not ours. Um, and I received that information from the clerk's department. Yeah, who made this? The determination was made by maintenance, I guess. They um, went over there and determined. So maintenance said it was way too close for them to determine. And the clerk's department said the homeowner measured the lot off of the road based off of the, um, I believe, the plot maps. If I'm 100% sure. Uh, to determine that the tree was on their property. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, is this a tree that fell on Paul's house? Yes. 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 Oh, imagine that. Okay. All right, anything else? <laughs> no, he said parts? it was his responsibility yeah. and yeah, not the townships. Right? Am I yeah. missing anything? Yeah. And like, we got nope. nothing to do with it nope. at all? Nope. So, okay. Not anymore. It's not on park nope. property, so nope. yeah. We're good now. Okay. Any, anything else about the pocket parks? Anybody had any No, there's one on Lorraine Street and the one on uh, Cranbrook are nice and easy and quiet. Those are the three that I check, honestly. I mean, anything else isn't really heavy, like. I check Centennial, Hooverdale. Centennial, Tangle the one on Cranbrook, and the one on um, Lorraine at least have like a swing set or something um. that. Makes it look like it's a place. Have, have, have you? Did you? Nowhere else that I, you know. Were you ever able to reach out to Phil about the resolution for the? Nope, I need to do that. Okay. okay. And can you <laughs> can you also ask him about the disc golf disco disc golf store, and if he has ever sent them a letter and what our next course of action is going to be. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Comments from the public. Where did they go? <laughs> they're gone. They heard. I got it all. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah. They had curfews. They all had to leave. I guess. So, get on their bikes before it got that nighttime. Um. So my question was, is that who notified the parks department that the tree was down? No. The homeowner measured. Right. Well, no, but he said that it was reported to the clerk's department. No, no, that's who I received the information from. That it was on the neighboring property. Okay. So, okay, so the so, clerk's department reported it to the parks? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, originally Al called me an officer. Okay. And wanted me to get somebody to, and, and ask me to check in there at night. Okay. From um, there I followed procedure of insurance. Okay. 
Of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the question was like your building that could be used as a concession stand for say right now you've got those football players playing you know there could be a group of people the organization the mothers or whatever that would want to sell concessions there somehow and then another thought would be if the vocal group from the schools with the carpentry class would be interested in helping with the skate park that's something Paul Perlman actually mentioned to me as well. But recently I noticed a newsletter published and they are they have finished the outside work at the house there building and are going to be moving to the inside. Right, right. Year. So that's why I didn't So I'm not sure if they'll have time, so I But he could, you know, give you a price yeah. or something of that nature, split the kids up or something. So that was just yeah. a thought. Yeah, or even when you know they run into a roadblock on the house, possibly. Yep. Either way, I think we're going to need to do a roof or get a roof done. Uh, Up for that building, you're saying? Thank you, Gail. Yeah. Yep. Guys, we're off of that point. Yeah. All right. Commissioner's comments. Um, as far as like using that as a concession, Gail, the Civic Club has a building over there that they use for concessions already. So, uh, oh, really? They they large use, yeah, they're, they're selling so they're selling stuff right now, huh? Are they? I don't know about right now. That's probably just practice. But on the week, because when they have the games on the weekend, because I know my do. boys had to play here for the Hornets, yeah. they do the concessions out of there. So Interesting. that is already taken care of. But I mean, for some of this other stuff, I don't know, totally optional. Hmm. Do you guys need anything from me? Anything from Township? Uh, we just need to get those drinking fountains on their agenda, probably. I'm assuming. Yeah. You want them on the next agenda? If we can get them on there, yeah. I talked yeah. Wednesday today and they said um, Trudy is not in this week uh -huh. so we may not be able to get them on in time I'll let you so know. she comes I'll, back. I'll find out I'll, I'll say okay. put the drinking fountains on the yeah. next yeah if they don't yeah if they don't make her on the next one the one after that probably be fine yeah but now for are you guys gonna submit it to ARPA and have ARPA present it then? I think ARPA needs to yeah. do a presentation I yeah I don't know in which case I thought I'd just give it we'll to ask, Trudy we'll, we'll ask we'll ask reach out to we'll see how they're gonna go but I don't want to leave this just up to fall apart. No. That's all. No, I gotta follow it up somehow. Somebody's gotta be there for the meeting. We'll find out. That's that's okay. to be dated itself so far. All right. Anything from you, Aaron? Uh, anything yep. else? No. Nope, anything? Nope. I've got nothing. Uh, the only thing I want to say is before we adjourn, we need to establish our next meeting date, which is September 11th. Okay, I see on here it says Cars Grove Hall slash right. Government Center. So that's, we're deciding, do we want to meet from it now that we're done with our meetings in the park for the summer, because it's getting <laughs> too dark, too late, too cold. Uh, do we want to go back to the Government Center, or do we want to stick with In terms Cars of Grove? being able to use the resources at the Government Center, um, with what George has set up in there, being able to present stuff for us, I believe that is probably our best option and to stay consistent. Um, meetings will go live. Yeah. And then the meetings will be live immediately. The public will see them automatically. And okay. I, honestly, I think we'd benefit from it. All right, why don't you make a motion to that effect? Yeah. All right, I have a motion to have our September 11th meeting at Township Hall in the meeting room. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now I need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All second? Aye. 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 All right, very good.